what's up YouTube? I want to show you guys a new way to look at pendulums for this format. It's, this is going to be a very descriptive and theory analysis based video. So if you like pendulums and if you watch pendulums, this is the perfect video for you if you play the deck. So it's a whole new way to look at the deck. So if you love pendulums, smash the subscribe button because at 30k, we're going to do a very special video, Odd Eyes Pendulum video. So you guys are going to see right now, we're going to be utilizing uh, a plus one every turn. So the idea is you want to start your turn with five cards, okay? Uh, every single turn so you want to utilize we're going to be utilizing magicians to do this we want to utilize time star magician every turn to get a plus one for the next turn we want to utilize celestial magician which is one of the most underrated pendulum cards right now i believe no one keep, like is understanding how good this card is so you get to add with add, playing magicians in the deck lets you have a celestial every turn to start and a time star every turn to start now like i said this is a very descriptive video okay there's going to be no room for like uh wasting time or whatever we're not even doing an intro i don't care just straight up descriptive and analysis theory base and we do a lot of this on patreon so if you guys want to get better at pendulum sign up on patreon we talk about this all the time and uh so yeah with the, with those two cards time star and celestial we're also going to be adding two every turn with blue boy because in this build we're playing six seven spellbook cards meaning if you hard draw a secrets or, or blue boy as i did here you still have access to make another crowley to add two more cards for next turn so when you start your turn, you're going to have Time Star and Celestial ads, like whatever you want. I also wanted to make Rupert Magister Paladin, but there just wasn't enough space. So those two plus the two you draw for spell books, that's four. So you start your turn every turn with four cards. And then as well as the draw for turn, that's five. And utilizing cards like Abductor, you get the plus even more. Because it's not just five cards you start, but typically Abductor will have a whole bunch of counters on it as well. So you're going to add a card off Abductor as well when your turn doesn't even begin. So those are six cards. that You, you start your turn with six cards. So imagine your opponent tries to, that's where you do the second Crowley here. Imagine your opponent tries to clear your board with like five evenly matched. Cool, nice job. You have six cards and you still destroy your opponent the following turn. And what's Elledge going to do? Pop one of the cards of Conquistador, negate a card. Like, it doesn't matter what the, he has, he has six cards, right? It doesn't matter. So it's a whole new way to look at Pendulums. Here we end up, if we drew Blue Boy or Secrets instead of the Knowledge if, with the Crowley, I would have held the Blue Boy or Secrets for the following turn, but knowledge is not as powerful as blue boy or secret so we're gonna pen call away the knowledge instead uh because we are otherwise would have pen call away the money master and eventually summon it back with Celine. in this build we use three Celine and really utilize it like crazy because we're focusing on adding cards to our hand we don't care about the crowley uh fact that it's adding cards to the field we just want the cards for the following turn so we're just focusing on plusing but with the addition of Celine in this deck and use, utilizing Celine in absolute dragon and vortex uh, you get to put up some crazy amount in the gates, especially with Time Star. Uh, uh, doing a cool play with Mighty Master. I'm going to show you guys right now. So we're going to summon uh, Selene first. And uh, if they if they Nibiru me right now, I could not care less. Look look at this. You have, you're have you going to summon four monsters. Mighty Master will summon himself again. Absolute. You're going to have five negates with the Nibiru right now. It doesn't matter in the slightest. So we are going to use... Uh, that's why we're going to go Selene first and summon a Jackal. Because of the Nibiru, after my pension summon, it will suck. But we purposely sent the Jackal, that way we could summon him back with the Selene. If you Nibiru with the Selene, you're going to have 5 monsters on board anyways. Utilizing Absolute and Cross Sheep to still go into 5 negates. So it doesn't matter. So Nibiru does nothing whatsoever. Here, we're going to Pendulum Summon. Uh, this will be Pendulum Summon. I could have Pendulum a Chronograph if I wanted to save a card in my hand. Uh, in theory, but I what, might as well just add an extra negate while we can. So like I said, this build plays 2 Celestial Magicians to really focus on it. Only play 1 Harmonizer. You always get to make the Time Star or Celestial easily anyways. Celestial is the main goal here, and I'll explain why. So here, Time Star is going to add a card for us. We're going to add a Chronograph for a follow-up. Uh, and now look at this. Because we're going to activate Money Master Effect in Grave, more synergy here. Talk about this on Patreon all the time to go sign up. And also, uh, Mighty Master. By the way, we have the coolest Mighty Master playmat on TripGaming.com. So go purchase it. Let's go, baby. Mighty Master, summon and something scale. Time Star, protect. So now Mighty Master will not even be able to destroy one of your own cards. You can protect yourself. You don't need to destroy one of your cards. You could say you don't have to pop your abductor. Your abductor can stay there to add a card for yourself in the following turn. Time Star will protect it. Hence, you get a free Magician Souls here. So for those that don't, they can't afford Magician Souls. I understand Souls has like three effects, but throw some magicians in your deck. Mighty Master, summon itself. Time Star protect the card Mighty Master destroys. Now I'm not playing many Jackals of Mighty Masters because I already know how to get negates crafty ways. So I'm only playing one and two of each. That's it. So I don't need to play another one. So I'm just sending a card I don't care about. Uh, a Servant. I don't need Servant at this point. At this point, Servant is useless for me. So I'm going to send it just in case I feel like uh, I don't want to draw it. Here we're going to go into Absolute Dragon. Now we're going to go Cross Sheep. And Cross Sheep, Vortex. 
And now, uh, Crossing Effect will trigger. We're going to special out the Harmonizing that went to the graveyard with Time Star. Because what Time Star does, it allows a card to go to the grave, right? The synergy with Selene and Time Star is fantastic. And Cross Sheep. Because now we special a free level 4. This level 4 is actually going to be useful for us. Because now we're going to go into Boral Savage Dragon. So we're going to get more negates while still getting so much plus. Uh, now we're going to link those into a, a, a Selene. Uh, you could you have the option to keep a Time Star on field. Because having Time Star and Selene both on field protects almost all of your cards. So your opponent cannot attack the Selene because you have a Mighty Master. But your opponent cannot attack the Mighty Master because you have the Time Star. So even if your opponent tries to destroy it, they can't. Uh, so, especially if they enter battle phase, just try to attack the defense position, Selene monster like Jackal. They can't. Time Star protects it all. And Time Star will add a card for you next turn. Unfortunately, we had a bunch of negates on board anyway, so we have to get rid of that. Uh, we're going to activate Selene effect, which has 11 counters or something like that. Some Mighty Master. Uh, now, the end phase is going to come. We're going to add a Garuda. We don't play Cerberus, because if you Ash Cerberus, you turn past, like, it, it sucks with Magicians. You don't want to, and everyone's playing Ash Blossom right now. So, what we opted instead was to add one Garuda and one Jackal. Jackal to stop the Nibiru in situations like this, which is searchable by a lot of the cards, and a Garuda. Because you're playing Celestial Magician, a combo of Celestial and Garuda is fantastic. It's They work hand-in-hand -hand together uh, because Celestial adds the Garuda at the end phase. Now you have a situation. You have six negates right now, right? You have six negates because Mighty Selene is going to summon another Mighty Master on the opponent's turn. So on the opponent's turn, Selene summoned another, another Mighty Master. So you have five negates right now on field. But if your opponent plays, let's say, I don't know, Salamangre, even Adam Emancipator, one Garuda stops all Emancipator. One Garuda and one Mighty Master. You balance their normal summon, they activate a spell card to continue, negate with Mighty Master past turn. It's not as good as the deck as people say. It's kind of like Salamangre. Get rid of the normal summon and Emancipator just done. They lose. So be very smart about it. And uh, look at this. We have six negates on board. Right? But we don't only have six negates. We have three cards in hand. We're going to draw for turn, so we're going to have four cards in hand. And Abductor is going to add ourselves any card we want, because uh, there's six spell counters on it. So that's five cards in hand to start our turn, and we have six negates on field. This is a whole different way to look at Pendulums, where it's more so, uh, typically two negates stops this entire meta. Three negates stops this entire meta. Like, Eldritch is passing to two spell trap negates. Two Mighty Master pass. Uh, Emancipator. Like, one Jackal, one Garuda pass. Pass, pass, pass. The deck's just not that good. So none of them are good. No deck right now could clear boards or like mighty like pendulums can. That's why I consistently say pendulum is the best deck, not just because of going first, but against going second. No deck could clear this, but the only deck that could clear even half of this board is pendulum. So what's any of the meta decks right now going to do to clear this? Literally nothing. And another cool thing is if I don't want to summon the mighty master with Selene, let's say uh, they have a lot of cards that destroy cards. You can use a Selene to special the time star, and the time star will actually protect it. And this is the deck profile. So, Servant Triple Abductor. Abductor is the most important part card in this deck because you don't only add on your turn, you add on the following turn as well. As you see here, we're playing 22 spell cards, two Blue Boy Contest of Spells, 24, with two Magician Souls. In this build, we don't play Real Magic Library because we're focusing on the Spellbook Engine for this build because you want to add on your turn and you want Crowley to add a second draw two for your following turn. Uh, because you're playing Pendulum Call and Magician Souls, and Time Start to Search on Magician Souls, and Mighty Master to pop the fusion, that's like, you have 10 ways to destroy the Metal Force fusion, even if you don't draw in Magician Builds and with Souls and Magician. If you play Magician Souls in your deck, if you play Pendulum Call in your deck, you must play Foolish Barrel Goods and Metal Force fusion. I can't stress that enough. It's an amazing, amazing tech to play if you play Pendulum Call and Souls. Because if you hard draw the, soul, the fusion, now you get rid of it. You can even Mighty Master pop it. There's so many ways to get rid of it. So... Triple Chronograph, it's still so, so, so important. You guys must play Chronograph. I can't stress this enough. The Abductor Chronograph synergy is really, really powerful. And the fact that Chronograph, this Time Star is like a FTK versus Eldritch. If you activate Chronograph and then summon a Time Gazer, your scales are protected forever. And, bro, they have two pops. They're not going to do anything against you. And then because you clear their board easily, and yes, they have some shitty follow-up, right? Like what? Their follow-up is like add two every turn or something. Bro, you're adding five every turn with your deck. So this deck is just infinitely better uh, in terms of follow-up and power and just infinitely better than Eldritch. I can't describe this enough. Better than every deck. One janky because you want one low scale and a level seven to summon up Mighty Master. Pearl Poison is not that good this format, so we don't need to play it. Uh, like, what's it going to do against this format? Lit literally nothing. Uh, so that's the build. You don't want too many Magicians because they're good brick. The whole reason you're playing Magicians is because of Celestial and the synergy that Pen Call has with the deck, as well as Crowley add one of these cards and then Pen Call away the extra card. That's why having a lot of Spellbook Engine is good for this. Uh, having Knowledge is also good for this build because you can normal summon Abduct if you hard draw Knowledge and don't have a way to uh, another Spellbook card. 
you normal the abductor or you special the souls so you still have a way to get rid of it uh triple allure the triple design design is just too good not to play four pen call is good and three the goods package i'm telling you the goods package of fusion is so good in this deck with magician souls and with pendulum call i can't stress this enough i talk about it a lot on patreon so don't forget guys for the 10th time sign up on patreon to learn the ways of the pen god triple dark roller triple sphere mode draw one and you auto win versus emancipator emancipator is just a worse pendulum i can't stress that enough if you don't feel that's enough you can put in a dino wrestler and yeah just it's not even bro you have 25 draw cards just play dark ruler sphere mode draw one you win draw two discard a pen call souls discard an extra dark ruler if you draw multiple it doesn't matter you just get rid of it so yeah the cards you take in you take a big part of the, the spell book engine after side decking and yeah, that's that. Against backer decks, you have these options. A lot of people are playing anti-spell. So that's why I have Cosmic Cyclones, Red Reboot, and Dino Rest. So to stop that, if you don't get anti-spell, you literally win. Two Exchange, I believe it better than Secret Village. Uh, because it doesn't stop evenly. It doesn't stop Sphere Mode. A lot of people are playing Sphere Mode right now. It, exchange is just better. You get to look at your opponent's hand. If your opponent draws two Sphere Modes, okay? They're going to draw two Sphere Modes. Let's say they're going to draw an Eldritch Gold Land card. And then, like, they're going to have Eld Land the spell card, and then they're going to have two random cards that don't matter. Uh, use the exchange to get rid of their starter. And then they're not going to do anything. Let the sphere mode you, who cares? You have five cards in your hand and they can't do anything. They're going to set two cards, pass. You get rid of their starter a lot of the time, especially when you could use the card and you could take a hand trap from them and use it yourself. You could draw into it multiple ways. Uh, look how much you draw in this deck. It's insane. So exchange is just really, really good, especially with Crowley, because Crowley always gives you the extra card to add back. Or Time Star, even after your Pendulum Summon, go Time Star, Exchange, add a card to Time Star, give them some useless card, and you're good. Extra deck, this build, because you go Time Star every play, focuses on 3 Selene to get you the Negates. I can't stress enough how good Selene is. A lot of the times you go Selene before the Pendulum Summon, and then you summon out the Jackal that Souls brings out, or you summon out any monster and go Appaloosa. And then because you have the Appaloosa, you're protected. If you don't go through the Appaloosa, you go Selene, and I can't stress this enough, you always go Absolute Cross Sheep after you Selene something. So you could have plus with Time Star so bad, uh, you could, uh, but because of the level 7s, uh, Mighty Master summon itself from scale, Time Star Protect, this janky, do so much stuff, Time Star add a level 7, there's so many ways, so add souls, so Time Star add souls, souls send Mighty Master to Grave, there's so many cool power plays with Selene and level 7s, so you gotta play 3, I can't stress this enough, and because you want a better follow up, because Time Star puts cards in Graveyard for you, you have one, you typically go 2 Selene on turn 1, and then 1 Selene for the follow up. Uh, Crowley, I want to play two Crowley sometimes, but I just there's no reason. Daybreaker, Cross Sheep, Daybreaker. I can't stress this enough. This is actually the reason I got banned from Dueling Book. This one card alone, but uh, what I, yeah, you have, I can't stress this enough. Use Daybreaker going second. Uh, save your Magician Souls going second. Save your Corner Gap Time Gazers going second. Summon as many cards as you can, and then try and go on Daybreaker before your Pen Summon, and summon a Souls to pop a card for free before. Uh, going second, prioritize Daybreaker before the Pen Summon, and a Souls under it before the Pen Summon. Uh, Kashi, Masquerade, Appaloosa, all required. Phoenix, Unicorn, Pearl Sword, especially because we're not playing Triple Jack or uh, Triple Mighty Master. Having Masquerade and Appaloosa and extra deck is important. Phoenix, Unicorn, Pearl Sword for going second. Pearl Savage is very good, harmonizing and Time Star, because Time Star and Cross Sheep, uh, you just put these in Grave, and Selene and Cross Sheep summon them back, go Pearl Savage. And yeah, Time Star Absolute Vortex. That's the deck, guys. I think it's amazing. I really like it. Uh, in terms of bricking, the cards that could brick you is having double knowledge, but that's fine. Uh, because like I said, the abductor, you have, if you draw the knowledge, you have three abductor, you have two souls, that's five. You have three secrets and two blue boy, that's ten cards. So if you even hard draw the knowledge, you have ten cards just to discard it, get rid of it anyways. You also have Pendulum Call and Magician Souls, so that's twelve. That's sixteen cards. So if you hard draw knowledge, there's no brick in this deck. You have souls to discard, you have pen call to discard. There's just no way to like, you, know, you just can't brick with this deck. Other than that, hope you guys like it. Make sure to subscribe on 38 and we'll see you guys in the next video.